The ritual of the Nazarema was first brought to the attention of anthropologists 20 years ago. But the culture of this people is still very poorly understood. They are a North American group living in the territory between the Canadian Cree, the Yaqui and Tara Humara of Mexico, and the Carib and Arawak of the Antilles. Little is known of their origin, although tradition states that they came from the East. Nasarema culture is characterized by a highly developed market economy, which has evolved in a rich natural habitat. While much of the people's time is devoted to economic pursuits, a considerable portion of their day is spent in ritual activity. The focus of this activity is the human body, the appearance and health of which appear as a major concern in the people's belief. While such a concern is certainly not unusual, its ceremonial aspects and associated philosophy are unique. The Nasarema have an unrealistic horror of and fascination with the mouth, the condition of which is believed to have a supernatural influence on all social relationships. Were it not for the rituals of the mouth, they believe that their teeth would fall out, their gums bleed, their just shrink, and their friends desert them. They also believe that there is a strong relationship between oral and moral characteristics. For example, there is a ritual cleansing of the mouth for children, which is supposed to improve their moral character. The daily body ritual includes a mouth rite. This rite involves a practice which strikes the unfamiliar stranger as revolting. It was reported to me that the ritual consists of inserting a small bundle of hog hairs into the mouth, along with certain magical pastes, and then moving the bundle in a highly formalized series of gestures. This is part of a 1956 paper by Horace Mitchell Minor, a professor of cultural anthropology at the University of Michigan, in an academic journal American Anthropologist. This paper surprised the academic world because it was the first to deal with a tribe called the Nasarema. But the Nasarema doesn't actually exist. It is American spelled backwards. And the mouth right mentioned in this paper is a description of brushing teeth. So why were so many people deceived by his paper? This has to do with how much respect V treat people called experts. He used the authority of fellow scholars to add weight to his argument. He cited the researches of renowned professors such as Linton. Malonofsky and Murdoch in his paper. We tend to absolutely trust the logic of experts, and this paper shows us that we should be wary of this idea.